Welcome to Question Pro. In this video, we're going to talk about how you can create surveys in your account. Creating surveys with Question Pro is super easy. We're going to see three ways that you can do this. The first option we're going to look at is using survey templates. These templates have been created by experts and are regularly updated and refined so you can be sure that these are well tried and tested. To start creating a survey, navigate to new survey once you've logged in. Once you click on the new survey icon, you can see two options. One is to create a survey or use a template. We're going to click on use a template. All the templates have been organized in categories to make sure it's easy for you to find the right template based on your use case. For this video, I am going to navigate to the customer satisfaction category and pick one of the surveys from this selection. Basic customer satisfaction is the survey I'm picking. Once you click on the template, you see a pop-up preview that gives you a quick view of the questions in this template. Now you can either go back and select another template or click on use this template to go ahead. Once you click on use this template, you are ready. This is now a survey in your account. This questionnaire has three questions. Um, a lot of the templates will have many more. And what you want to do once you have a template decided is come in and set up the logic that you want to display on the questionnaire. We're going to talk about this in detail in another video, but for now, we're going to focus on the ways that you can create these surveys. So hopping back out, we're going to talk about the second way you can create a survey in question, in question Pro. We're going to go back to new survey. And now I'm going to create a survey from scratch. We're going to put this a name called customer preferences. And once you've selected a name, click on create survey. This now takes me to my workspace, which is a blank canvas at this point. Here are my options to start creating my survey. I can either add an intro, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Once you click on add intro, this is going to give you a pre-filled text. You can, you're free to use this. Um, if this is appropriate for your use case, you have some placeholders where you wanna change your name and then go ahead and start adding questions. You will see an add question button every at every break. Once you click on that, you have a repository that opens up on your left with different selections of questions to pick from. We're going to select a multiple choice question and fill the question text here. Let's say, how satisfied are you with our services? Once I put that and I've clicked outside the survey question, as you can see, this has pre-filled. We do have smart fills in the question options, which makes it super easy to make sure that you are one using the right scale. And if this is a template that you're using, it pretty much um, becomes pre-filled. I'm going to click on another add question and now I can pick a comment box. I can add some contact information questions and I can also pick from the multiple options for graphical weighting questions, image user questions, basic matrix, and if I go into advanced, also pick a net promoter score question type. Okay. Now, again, since we're creating this questionnaire from scratch, you will want to look into adding logic to the questionnaire. You'll want to design it to look more like your brand. And we are gonna talk about that in another video. The third and final option for you to create a survey is once again, let's go to new survey, name this customer feedback and click on create survey. We're now back to our empty canvas. And as you can see here, there is an option for add questions from MS Word. You can upload a Word file that already has the questions in case you have been running these surveys before, you might have the questionnaire already prepared. You can just upload that from your Word document and have the questionnaire built in Question Pro. The, what you'll do here once you click on that is you'll see a window that allows you to browse and upload or even drag and drop. 
You also have a sample document here. If you just click on that, you get a template downloaded. This is a great template to see how each of the different question types are to be formatted. Once you use these syntax, you can be sure that once you've uploaded your questionnaire, it is clean and ready to use. You will also be able to choose a file that you've already uploaded before. So that's what I'm going to do for this survey. I'm going to click here, import example file, click on import. You get a preview to see what questions you are uploading. Click on finish and that's it. This was fairly quick and simple. And now you already have your questionnaire in your account. Once you have all your questions, you're going to follow the same things that we discussed in the previous two approaches, which is add logic to make sure that the right people are seeing the right questions and design your survey to make sure your brand logo, your colors and everything is appropriate. Okay, these were the three ways for you to create a survey. And for a quick refresher, these were creating a survey using a template, creating one from scratch, using the question types in your account, or uploading a Microsoft Word document.